Hello everybody, this is Mon Retro Gamer, and welcome back to Jack to the Future 2.0, plus the extra patches that are uh, also there. And today, we are going to be continuing on. Uh, the last episode I recorded was over a week ago, so I'm going to probably be a bit rusty. But let's see what we can do. Is it me? Am I a magnet for these idiots? I don't know, I just met you. Pearl, Bobo, and Brain Guy? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what is going on. Let's just attack Pearl. I'm sorry, Pearl. It just seems the easier thing to do. Holy moly. Good thing Pearl is asleep. Very good thing Pearl is asleep. Let's just, um, attack Bobo. Haha, <laughs> you attacked Jack. <laughs> Silly Bobo. Just while Pearl is asleep, we are going to keep attacking uh, Bobo. Let's use a weapon break on Bobo. Go, your attack went down. Good, because you just use a body slam. Chuck magic. Are you using magic? That is not fair. We don't use magic, we are gentlemen. How dare you! Ah, oh, Felix lost his balance. No. Oh. Oh, thank goodness, that was uh, coming off. Let's get Schneeksy. We need to be ready, because Pearl is in her zone again. She has all of the preparations and all that. I need Felix to get a bunch. And I mean a bunch of, um... Damn. I need him to get Fairy's Breath, but he's not getting hit enough. First world problems. <laughs> Poison. No effect on anyone. Good. That could have been bad. That could have been, like, really bad. Excellent hit! Over a thousand damage from Jack. Over a thousand damage again. That's over two thousand damage. Off the b b b b bat For our good friend, uh, Jack. Nobody's defense is gonna stay up. But Pearl is asleep. So, lol. And... Barry's breath. We're good now. We're good. And Mark is so fast he's evading a bunch of this. Um... Okay, um... So now we're gonna attack Bobo. We're gonna attack Bobo. And we're gonna weapon break Bobo. Tough luck, Bobo. Strong attack, 169 damage. Ha. Ah ha ha. Ah ha 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 ha. Take that, Bobo. You are not going to take me down. This is really actually quite a... It's not that bad a battle. I'm just kind of yammering on, but it, it, it's not that bad. I'm handling it, and I think I'm handling it quite well, considering the circumstances that are happening. I need to be ready for when my fairy's breath runs out. Everyone is poisoned. I don't want to take the LSD. <laughs> oh! oh my god. All right, Jack, you're gonna take some LSD. Uh, Felix, you're gonna take some... You're gonna cast Fairy's Breath. And Mark, you're gonna give Felix LSD. Holy shit, I'm tripping balls. Holy god, what the hell is happening? Ooh, the colors. So many damn colors. Ow. But Fairy's Breath. Ow. Okay, I, I, I can... 
I can handle this, because I'm sort of Nicolas Cage right now. I don't know how this happened, but it has. Wow. Brain guy is healing himself, that douche. That just douche. Poison! No! 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 Oh, Jack is poisoned. All right, we've killed Bobo. We've killed Bobo, which, which, which is fine. Now we're going to attack Pearl. We're going to uh, cure Jack. We're going to weapon break Pearl. Damn it! Mark lost his balance. And now we are out of that. Okay, we need to get an attack off. Okay, we have enough for a fairy's breath next turn. Mark's regained his balance. We're gonna get Schneeksy. We can have fairy's breath, and we're gonna use a weapon break. God damn it, Pearl! God damn it! One job. One. Respect my authority. You are not respecting my authority. Pearl is slain because she did not respect my authority. And now, it's just you and me, brain guy. It's just you and me. Do you think you can do this on your own? <laughs> Poor brain guy. Such a bad time for you. Only so little damage. Oh. Oh. Really? Let's use an armor break on this guy. Because, you know, let's just be dicks to him. Oh, your attack returned to normal. That was your dropped attack? Well, um... Pretty sure we're hurting you for more than you're healing, so, um... Tough luck, bub. Ow. 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 But that was enough to kick off a fairy's breath. Ha <laughs> ha. Joke is on you, and we just beat you anyway. 850, 850. Jameson's 8% proof, a boss's belt, and a harp? What the fuck you going on? What you doing down here, love? Well, I was minding my own business until you decided to come along and kill me! As Pearl dies, she dissolves into a puscient puddle of gore, releasing a blue flame that combines with another that shoots down from the ceiling and merges in the center of the occult circle. This must be the path to the next realm! Yay? Okay, so we got a boss's belt? Metal belt engraved with the boss's name. Um... It's an accessory, isn't it? Raises attack and defense... But not by much, it's a two and a two. Maybe... Maybe this would be better f no. No. Boss's belt will be saved for another day, guys. Hello? The Autobahn. The bush. A frozen bush. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Okay. It is advised you go find the inn and pick up your other friends before engaging enemies here. Bottom left of the area. No worries, the baddies are all inside. And what do you mean by that? I think that means, as it said in a sign that we didn't read at the start of the game. Uh, wait a minute, that's a triangle. That's a triangle, you cannot fool me. Hey Jack. Mark, I'm warning ya. Since it's so icy right now, would you call this a... a blue well? Yeah! I'm gonna smack the unholy fuck out of your head, Mark. I fucking swear by all that is... Fuck it. Yes, Mark, this is a fine specimen of a blue whale. 
Very fine indeed. Now can we please get the fuck off this running gag now? I have to put on an Irish accent for this. I have to put on an Irish accent for it, and I'm freaking Irish. Um... Is there something there that I have to... Eh? What kind of well would you say this is, Jack? Wait? I told you already. Wrong kind of whale. Wrong kind of whale. That was... That was Wade. Wade isn't in our team yet, but he said bottom left of the area, so I suppose we have to... Just drop down here? Let's just run. Um... Um... Okay. We haven't found our friends yet. Hey, our friends are probably going to be down in here. Okay, that's cool. Oh, hey, it's the developer. Hey, Acid Heads. Yo, Home Fry, what's up? Mark and Pewds, look at Jack. Don't ever do that again. Doing good so far, Jack. Real pro level stuff. Whatever, so what's the deal with this place then? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Well, this village got a curse put on it a long time ago by some freak -a whiz called Archidite. His magic left behind a lot of bad juju, and the only way to the next land is through here. For you, at least. I can warp around, but... just myself. Sorry, this wouldn't be much of a quest if there was an easy way to take you right to the end. I don't know any giant eagles. Besides, there is a lot you need to learn along the way. And since I'm sure you're wondering, this pub exists in a sort of limbo state. I pulled some strings to get it assigned to you while you're here, to give you a bit of help along the way. One last thing. Things just keep getting harder from here on in, so I brought a couple more friends of yours to help out. They're upstairs. I gotta go again, so I guess I'll see you later, Gator. Again with the vanishing! Wish I could just poof around like that. Poof! Poof! Mark, we get it. You like to poof! Poof! Hoo <laughs> ba! What the fuck is that about? Ho ho ba! That's like Netanyahu! What the fuck? Netanyahu! I don't even know. Okay, we're going upstairs. We're gonna see if we can find our peeps. Our peeps. Don't come any closer or I'll kill myself. Whoa! Don't do anything hasty. Hasty, I've been at my task for years. I won't rest until I've killed every single version of me that exists. What? I'm an interdimensional murder cider. I jump between planes of existence, killing myself. Uh, according to physics, there are an infinite number of parallel planes of existence. You can never kill all of yourselves. Ah! Oh, he's dead. Okay. What? Just get in line, Wade. Okay, we got Wade. Hey, Bob. Hey, Mark. Felix. Jack. It's one of those, huh? <laughs> I just gave him a squeak. Yep. Get in line, Bob. Okay, so we got uh, Wade and Bob. Wade is a wizard. Um, and Bob is a barbarian. What's their equipment like? Wood staff, fur hat, silk cloak. The adventurer's garb is better, slightly. We are going to give him the boss's belt. Out of pity. Because he's Wade. What skills do they have? They have magic reflect for one turn, reflect enemy magic attacks. We've got sleep, slow move, fire, and ice. And uh, what for Bob? He's got a strong attack. That's the same thing Bobo was using in the last area. Oh my god, they're repeating abilities. Her hair completely changes when we talk to her. Okay, 10G for one night. We'd like to stay, just not actually stay, but more like, um, we kind of just want to do the thing. Hello! Yes, how may I help you? Actually, let's just see if Bob can make use of anything we have. Wade, we're gonna optimize you. That does nothing. Bob, we're gonna optimize you. That does something. Hallelujah. Hello, yes, how may I help you? We would like to get the good stuff. The assassin's dagger's too expensive, though. Damn it. Uh, silver hairpin. We need to get these again for Wade. God damn it, Wade. 
We're also going to buy two of these, just to be sure. Uh, so we're going to buy one of these, one of these. And we're already cutting it pretty fine for, uh, stuff. Seriously, Wade. God damn you. Yes, how may I help? Um, I'd like to sell this mithril bow. That was remarkably expensive. This adventurer's garb. This fur hat. Silk cloak. These two bronze plates. And this chainmail. Okay. Now what do we get? And we still can't see how this would affect, um... Bob. There's one thing I'm kind of worried about. We get something, and it's like, crap. Okay, bronze cap is plus nine. Okay. Mithril plate. Mithril plate. Um... Given the price difference... I mean... Feather caps are 6,500. They're like, plus... I mean, Felix and Wade, are they worth it? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's just get the Mithril Cap and Mithril Plate. Uh, we are going to get one Mithril Cap. Uh, let's just see if Bob... What's Bob have on? He's a fur hat. He can equip the Mithril. So, Mark, we're going to optimize. We're going to... Optimize. Yes, how may I help you? I would like to sell this fur hat. Yes, and now I would like to buy another mythical cap. Back out. See you next time. Equipment, Bob. Optimize. Sell bronze. Nowhere near good enough on the return. How much is... Nothing here is going to... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. That's it for equipment for now. Um, right. I suppose... This is good enough for now. So... Next time on Jack to the Future, we are going to be going out with our new five-man party, which is just so awesome. I mean, look at them. They're so awesome. We still haven't gotten a new shield for Felix for some reason, and there's an empty space that suggests that we can do things. Um, oh. There we go, I fixed Bob. Bob, Bob, I, I don't know what happened. Finish. Okay, so this is Monretro Gamer signing off. I just saved, uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.